Guys, today I'm showing you how to save hours of editing by utilizing AI here in Photoshop. Anybody can do it, it's super simple. So let's dive in and show you how it's done. Okay, so first things first, I want you to pull up your Creative Cloud app. And on the left here, I want you to go down to Beta Apps and there you're gonna see Photoshop Beta. This should say install, click on that, install the program and hit open. And here we are in our Photoshop beta. It looks the same pretty much, but there are some differences, including the generative fill AI option. So in this example, I'm gonna show you, we've got a beautiful girl with a beautiful dog, and I'm gonna just isolate the dog. I wanna make a portrait here of just the dog and save myself hours and hours of editing. So let's go ahead and crop that down, just a portrait of this beautiful dog here. And that looks pretty good to me, but obviously it's not, compositionally great. We've got half a face in there. So let's see what AI can do. All you need to do is drag this rectangular marquee tool right here. You're going to highlight the area that you want it to work its magic. And down here, you're going to see generative fill. So you're going to click on that and then you can basically describe or prompt it to do what you want. And this is where it gets really cool. So what we're going to do is let's say remove the human face and leave a nice background. Uh, and the dog's face. Let's see what that happens when we click enter, just like that. It's gonna take a few seconds to render. And guys, this is a very, very crucial and time-saving thing that's gonna be here in the future. It's inevitable, guys. So boom, just like that, there is the result. Uh, just absolutely mind-blowing, guys. An incredible time saver. And as you can see, it's matched it to the point where in some cases it's gonna be almost indistinguishable from taking a photo. And this is beta, so absolutely incredible. But the cool thing is here, it's given us a few options. Look down here, we've got one of three, so we can cycle through and see the different options that it's given us. That one looks even more natural for me. Love the background. There's the third one, added some grass. Not loving that, doesn't really, you know, doesn't go with the rest of the, the, the picture there. So that one's gonna be the winner for me. And in what, 30 seconds, I have a beautiful portrait of a dog that would have taken me otherwise hours, guys. And for AI, it's a love-hate for me. It's here to stay, so I'm gonna embrace it with the time saving and the creativity. And that's exactly how you can do it too. The sky's the limit with just whatever you type in there. It's not always gonna nail it at this point, I guarantee you. Some of the stuff we get is Pretty crazy looking, but there you have it, guys. If this did help you out and you liked this video, hit that like and subscribe button, guys. Let me know what you think about AI and this whole process and this whole thing down in the comments. And like always, make mistakes, be yourself, and get out there and take some more pictures. See you soon.